welcome back to another episode of A Word to Be Heard, Skating is a Habit. We are live from Inferno out here in Orlando. Right now in the skate room with me, I got Dev and Darius. Say what's up, y'all. What's, what's up, up, what's up, what's up? up? What's up? <laughs> How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Listen, so this is their first time stepping in the skate room with me, so they don't know nothing. So just be prepared for anything, because anything can happen, all right? So give us a little background. Where y'all from? What brought you out? Come on. I right, am from ATL, born and raised, you know? ATL step with ATL rider. Oh, I skate okay. with Push, Cascade Dream Team, what it do? Hey, shout out to the Cascade Dream Team. <laughs> I'm Debbie or Deb. I'm from New York, Brooklyn to be exact. Um, I live in Atlanta and I'm from my mother and my father. Shout out to them because they dope. I'm crying. <laughs> she said I'm from my mother and my father. Okay, I like that. I'm going to have to take that. So listen, y'all. We're not strangers, so I got to just throw that out there, okay? These, these are my friends. They actually came down to visit me. Yes, I'm we so did. excited. We had a support. Uh, but yeah, listen, because... Y'all, this is your first time in Florida, no? Or first time in Tampa in Orlando? My first time in Tampa in Orlando. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, yeah. So, how do you like it so far? Then? So far, it's a great, it's a vibe out in here. The floor is pretty good, definitely a different floor. I'm used to slippery, this is more grippy. Yeah. So, this is definitely got control. Let me tell you something, I lost my life a few times at Cascade. No, that ass. Yeah, I'm holding <laughs> it against you guys. Absolutely. Um, but listen, okay, so we gotta get down to the nitty gritty because I wanted to bring them in here because, uh, you know, in this day and age of, um, what do we call this, internet, social media, I have uh, two influencers here, you know, <laughs> so um, we need to get into that. How has that been for you guys, the opportunities that have been coming to you for via skating and things like that, I want to talk about it, because we are, you know, the younger generation, and I feel like, you know, we get to talk to a lot of OGs, a lot of things have changed. So I'm gonna go first, I guess ladies first, right? <laughs> um, so for me, um, my page is about just growth. Um, I posted my falls. I used to say I was a professional fooler. Everybody knows me from my fooling. Um, so for me, my page is just, I'm still new to skating. So I'm just gonna show, hey, this is what I do. I try a little bit of everything every single time I skate. I give the best tutorial I can with what I know to whoever asks me. And that's what I do because I know how it feels to not be taught when I want to learn. So for me, it's always about growth. It's always about just making sure that, you know, you're learning. Yeah. This is one of, well, two of the most positive people I know. I'm just gonna throw that out there too. So what you do, oh, you gotta drop that handle, baby. Drop the handle. Oh, I'm Haitian Deb. Haitian that's on, Deb. That's on um, TikTok and that's also on Instagram. And then on Facebook, I'm Little Debbie. And Not Little Debbie like the damn cake. Production, oh production. God. I'm Little ain't Debbie. That a, ain't that a, that's a, that's a cake. Yeah. Production's busy, but I, that, that's a little case of song. Okay, so now there he is. Listen, so he's recently been, been growing and things like that, but this is a prime example that social media is not everything because he has had a lot of opportunities come his way um, via skating and things like that, and it's not broadcasted off of social media. So I feel like he's a good example of, you know, striving for what you want in life and it not always having to be publicized or just because he doesn't have a big following doesn't mean he don't have things going on. So I want you to tell us, you know what I want to, want you to tell us about. <laughs> uh, okay, so recently I just had my first performing at the NBA Finals. Uh, actually like the NBA. Yeah. <laughs> like last week it was crazy because everything happened like last minute. So I got flown out Wednesday, rehearsed for two days, performed Friday. It was like legit an entire movie. Everything was amazing. That's like I, some shit you would see on Lifetime, you know? You know do, do anybody watch Element in Is that <laughs> a thing? <laughs> Man, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to talk a little bit about my page, my, my page is just about positivity. I love making people laugh. It's one of my biggest things. Oh, yeah, this is the king of skits right here. I'm sorry. And <laughs> the way he skates is with so much personality. Like, this is gold. <laughs> it really is. I just like, other than bringing like techniques, because you know, I'm not a full jersey. I got ATO steps and ATO riding. Yes. I'm learning different styles, but I actually have to add on my own flavor into it. Just like, even with TikTok dance or just like, adding my own personality into it because. 
skating is like everyone's passion. Make it fun. You want to be all through like perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah. Have fun and do what you do to express yourself on the main wheel. Definitely. So my, my other question for you, right, because I've had OGs in the skate room from Atlanta, you know, for ATL stepping, ATL riding and all of that. What's your perspective being a, you know, the younger generation learning that? Like, what is your style of music? Like, how is that skate style? Like, explain it a little bit. That is hard because <laughs> that is a hard question because because in ATL then you have legit a category of people that can legit ATL ride to anything. Yeah, I yeah, I've seen that shit. Anything. <laughs> in real life. Crazy. <laughs> in real life. All right. <laughs> real life, I can ride to any, even though a slow set. Uh, uh. No, the slow set, it look kind of smooth though, for real. I'd be like, okay. I don't know, because some of them still be looking a little crazy. <laughs> I'd be like, yo, I thought we was done. All right. No, they be going hard, so it all depends uh, on the musicality. Like, I say it's hard for me to say because I, I'm not a full living, breathing ATL rider. Yeah. I, I ride. I, I used to ATL ride when I was a kid back in the day, but I don't, I'm not saying back in the day like I'm old or something. Yeah, right. Yeah. I was about to say uh, forever 13 over here. We, we, <laughs> yeah, we all uh, pretty young. Yo, yeah, back, back. Pro production from me over there, like, yo, what the fuck are y'all talking, talking about? What y'all talking about? Back in the day, we just talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm screaming. Yo, I can't. These two, we've been cracking up all weekend. We've been having a good weekend. First of all, there was a pool party all uh, earlier today. Inferno has been lit. I mean, you know, we got rained on and all of that, but the food was good. The vibes was great. We was we was feeling it. But listen, we got to move into something before before I let y'all, you know, you yeah, get prepped. Get prepped, okay? Because I'm about to watch. <laughs> all right, so... I haven't done this in a while. It's time to bring it back. Um, we have a segment called Off the Dome, right? I'm going to ask you guys anything I want, rapid fire, and you just have to answer, okay? Okay. Like, whatever comes to mind, okay? I'm going to let you know what question is for who, okay? Okay. Uh, listen, it could be anything now, right? Oh, my God. Okay, 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 okay. Are you ready? I am. Who, who ready? I'm asking both of y'all. Y'all both ready? Okay, yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm going to start with something easy. I'm going to start with something easy. Okay. So let's see. What is the best excuse you have given to reject somebody? Or, like, what's the best reason you give given to reject What's somebody? the best reason I give yeah, to yeah, reject yeah. somebody? Ah, fuck. I don't know. I just I just can't be with you he, right he's now. He's antisocial. <laughs> yeah, I'm antisocial. Like, look, I play video games. What's up? I I'm a shut-in. I don't know. I, I don't know. That's a hard question. It's not, it's not giving. It's not giving. Okay. Yeah, um, all right, all right. Listen, listen, listen. Okay. Name something you put in your mouth. Go. Target. You put targets in your mouth? Yeah, because I eat all my targets. I eat them up for dinner. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I don't know where that was going. Yeah, I don't know either. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. It was What's the last thing you put in your mouth, though? Oh, man, put it in my mouth. Oh, what's some freaking bread from that? What's that? That Texas toast? What that this Texas is kind of crazy. Let's delete it. This is, it. This is, <laughs> I, I, bro, I love me some bread, boy. Some butter cinnamon. Cinnamon? cinnamon? The butter cinnamon. I can't oh, even say Lord. that word, but yeah. It was a butter cinnamon yeah. bread. And I, I listen, I just want, okay, because production is sitting over to my right, right? And I just want them to know how far back I'm sitting on this stool so that I do not have a reoccurrence of my epic fall that tends to happen every time I'm sitting here. Okay? All right, let's keep it going. We got to keep going. Ready? If a camel toe wasn't called a camel toe, what would you call it? Is this supposed to be X-rated? You can say whatever you want. I mean, we are the scripters. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a vagina, I think that's what it would be called. A camel toe? If a camel toe wasn't called a camel toe, what would you call it? Uh, um, a uh, nanny or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finna call, let me, listen, Mario, make sure you zoom in when we edit this later. I'm finna call that shit a moose knuckle. Um, oh, moose I like knuckle. that. I like that. Okay, I would've never thought of that knuckle. for whatever yeah, reason. exactly, right? I would've never I'm thought good. of that. I'm good with that. All right. See, no, you had time to think. That's not fair. These are your <laughs> questions. <laughs> These are your questions. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Let me see what else I got, what else I got. Mm. Out of prep. Da, 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 da. Okay. What's something you can stay at a restaurant that you can stay in bed? Oh, man. What's something I can stay at a restaurant I can stay in bed? Yeah. Come on, quick. Go, 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 go. Fuck, I don't, I don't know. Come on, Dad. What's something you can stay I think at a that's restaurant? what he's going to stay in bed. Um, I liked it like that. Thank you. Uh-uh. That's, uh -uh. not, that's not good enough? Production, you are that's not engaged for me today. 
I'm over here quick looking for your facial expressions and they not happening. He's she's, over here like, I'm working, I'm trying to engaged. do my job. I'm doing, I'm doing my job. I'm doing my fucking I'm job. Saying, they, they got me over here working now. I, mean, <laughs> I got a lot of stuff that I'm paying attention to. So look. I, Oh, look at you. I, look I, at I that. can't even look she's at the face. Right. I'm trying to prep some words. I'm trying to prep some words. I wasn't okay, ready. Okay, right. Whoever can get this first, you got to finish the lyric. Ready? I need a die. Top of the line, big, big face, face, cute face with a big behind. behind. <laughs> a big top of the line. We stop. My, <laughs> my fake twerk. First of all, I wanted to know who was, I needed to know who was singing what because that shit sounded so fucking awful. It was probably me. It was probably me. I don't know. I don't know where the lyrics went. Listen, I don't know where the lyrics went. Okay, y'all. But listen, first time in the skate room, how was it? Phenomenal. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's true as fuck. Oh, no. I, I, I'm not getting the vibe that I want. First of all. First time in the skate room. Oh, was it? What, you want me to walk walk my dogs? Yeah, walk them dogs. It was phenomenal. It was fucking phenomenal, <laughs> all right? Fucking phenomenal. <laughs> Is that okay? Oh, listen. my God. But listen, y'all. We got a bunch of action going on behind us. You know, we going to cut to them cams so you can see what's going on here at Inferno. We are live at Astro Orlando. <laughs> Make sure you come check it out if you ever in the area. I want to thank Darius and Deb for hopping in with me. They were my first little guinea pigs of the night, and it's <laughs> on to the next. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> the skate destination for 2022 is Washington, D.C. Legends show up and show out on the District War for four days and three nights of upscale experiences and entertainment. Join us for five skate sessions. The peer pressure fashion show on skates. Let's skate DC health and fitness expo. And the legends, heels, hats, and wheels gala. Featuring Tony, Tony, Tony. Limited tickets available. Go to getyourskateon.com.
skating in maybe two years now. So it's definitely been something that I have immersed myself in completely. My first skate party ever was actually Inferno. Oh. Exactly. It's been here, but you know, COVID kind of threw us. Exactly. That's all right, because we're here. So I really wanted to get y'all in today and really talk about the history of Inferno. Like, what prompted you guys to start it, and what is what is it really about? But I'm going to let Candace handle that. You know, she tells that story best. So, hey, take it away, Miss okay. Queen. Well, Inferno started 13 years ago, but the history of it is that it started out as rolling in the sunshine. And so um, we are part of the original members at that time, which has shifted um, after about three or four years in. And now it's called uh, the Inferno, right? But it is the same party. Nothing has changed. It is the same exact party. We're given the same level of excellence, hospitality. We're given that Florida fire burn. And, and that's how we came up with the name Inferno because you think of Florida, it's like what? It is like singeing hot. Yeah. I mean, like today was like 95 degrees. Right? There was a, a heat advisory. Exactly. Yes. Couldn't do it. Yes. yes. Right. Walk outside and come back in five minutes later, two shades darker. That's the way it is. Yes. But, but that's the history of Inferno, right? And, and, and so um, our signature thing with the Inferno, what we do different actually at our party is that um, it's, it's our pool party. Yes. It Yo. is our pool party. Like I said today, it was a washout with that rain. I mean, we had some tents that were flying around. Oh my God. Not ours. It was the other folks. <laughs> we had our side down good. Okay, we had our side down good. The food was delicious. The vibes were great. I literally just mentioned that before you guys came to the skate room. I was doing another interview, and I was like, listen, the vibes today were immaculate. And I feel like that, that goes for any party, but I think I'm a little bit biased to the city that I live in. I don't know. It's just something about Florida. <laughs> we're just trying to, we're trying right. to keep it nice and hot and fresh. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, so listen, Miss Candace, you're so eloquently smoking that it's just hard for me to even come up with a question. She just oh, fired. I'm sorry. She fired off the answers for me, fools, and I'm just like, okay, guys, more, please, more details. Well, that's because I can sell swamp land. That's why I'm so Oh, good. sell me some swamp land. Oh, I'm going to tell you some. <laughs> <laughs> Production! What, what, what's going on production? I, I was expecting your chime in today. Wait, what I do? No, look here. He's so I'm, I'm in production world. Right I know. Now. So I'm listen, because. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Here we go. Here yeah, we go. Come on. I pull up at the club, VIP. We need a camera on production. Uh, first of all, we ain't in a fraternity no more, sir. Oh, we'll forever be in a fraternity. Oh, forever. 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 Hey. I know y'all getting that footage from the floor. Listen, y'all, if y'all haven't been to Inferno, you need to make sure you come next year. I don't want no excuses, you need to be okay? Because our, our party, it's, it's on fire. That's right. It's on fire. Party so listen. hot, we set the sun on fire. Yes, yes. and guess what? You know, it's only right. Guess who playing right now? Hey, 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 so. hey, yeah. hey. Skaters One Nation, baby. Yes. Yeah. You know, it's so crazy because I think the first time I met Arthur was at Inferno, too. Oh, wow. Yes. Nice, nice. And I'm like, I think, actually, you know, so I said I've been skating for uh, almost two years now. And then I recently, oh, a year of that, I got into DJ. So, wow. but he is one of the biggest reasons, him and Chad, that yeah. I really found, a, like, refound, I should say, or reignited my love for music because... When I was in school, that was something that I was doing, okay. um, and things like that. And when I got, I got into skating when I was adult, too. Okay. so maybe mm -hmm. around like 20, I think. Oh, right, like, right. I was jam skating, so oh, okay. I, no, no shame, no oh, shame. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right side, right side. You've been reborn, honey. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My mom was proud. She was like, uh, I don't know what that is. Uh, we, right. we didn't never do that. I okay. Right. I, I used to beg her to come here, Mom. She was like, I don't know what that is. It's right. I was like, oh, all right. Now right. Yes, then I discovered Sunday night, and I was like, 
whole nother world. Um, whole I think this world. is where I'm supposed to be. Yeah. And I never world. left. I never left. Yeah. But so I, my, my biggest question, I think, because you guys have been running the party for so long, what is, uh, what advice can you give to some of the newer generation that is coming in that, um, as far as like skating, um, and then even some advice for like uh, people who are maybe wanting to start parties to keep the culture going and to be able to do those kinds of things. Well, my advice to, number one, a new skater, um, the biggest thing that I would say, and I don't, I don't necessarily want to sound negative, but don't come in thinking you're going to reinvent the wheel. Yeah. <laughs> the wheel has been made, right? Yes. So come in, learn the culture. Get to know people. Get to know, you know, different cities and styles and what people do in different regions. And... Um, don't think that you're the only one that's done something or you're the only one that's invented something because trust me, it's been done. Yes. You know, the saying always says, been there, done that. Like, that is the truth, you know, in any situation in life. So just come in and be humble, you know, um, and remain teachable. And get what you can get from everybody that's, you know, your different encounters with people. Get the knowledge. Um, I mean, it's not book knowledge, of course, but get the state knowledge of the history of where maybe that particular style came from or the history. Even if it's something as simple as the rink that you're in, you know. Um, I know as far as the party side of it, um, it was never my desire to be a, a coordinator. I didn't want to host a party. <laughs> I didn't want to host an event. I mean, that never crossed my mind. But when it was presented, I was like, okay. And the first year, I was kind of just like, whatever. But then I was like, you know, if I'm going to do it, we're going to do it right. We're going to do it with excellence. And that's just what it is. I'm not going to half do anything that I put my name on. So my name is important to me. So um, just making sure that you're delivering what you say you're going to be delivering, you know. Um, it's not really hard to plan a party, but at the same time it is, you know. Um, because again, you don't just want to, I do it for the love of the skaters, you know. I'm not just trying to make a dollar. Um, and not saying that everyone is, but I don't go into it with that mindset that yeah. how much money I'm going to make. No, I want to just have a good, awesome event, you yeah. know, for the love of skaters. And um, so it just takes some, again, uh, a willingness to be teachable and to have conversations with different coordinators and, yeah. you know, y'all think about and sit down, what do you think about this and right. things like that, you know, before you decide. I just gonna throw a party and you know yeah. we putting our name on something. And I think those are some some really good things that you touched on. Even I, you know I can only speak from my perspective, being very new to the skate team, but I, that was instilled in me from the time that I started. And it's crazy because you know so you know here in the skate world we call our older generation our OGs, right? The people who right. really know about the culture, who's been passing it along and doing all those things. Yes. So it's been a blessing for me that that is kind of the route that I've taken starting off, which I know a lot of people or a lot of younger people didn't really do. So in Tampa, I was able to really learn the history of how Sunday night started. And that's why I was super excited to be able to sit down and speak with you both tonight as well, because it was important to me to know that because my that knowledge passed to me is something I'm able to pass on and those people don't get to meet you or don't encounter you or never speak to you. So I feel like those are some really good things that you hit on, but absolutely remain a student to the game. I say that about everything because constructive criticism, tips, knowledge can come from anybody at any age. Exactly. And I think a lot of us are so close-minded to like, oh, it needs to be somebody that's older than me or somebody right. younger than me could never tell me how. No, right. you constantly have to be exactly. open to that. And I feel like that's anything in life. Yes. Right. Um, but I want to pass those same questions to this yeah. So Okay. <laughs> um, well, I'll talk about on the event side of things, right? I think, you know, if you want to throw a party, I think that's great, right? Um, people say it's oversaturated, but you can always find, like, a little needle in the haystack to be able to, to, to have a party going. But what I would say, you know, like like Obus was saying, also, you know, I would also say just arm yourself with people that know how to execute. It's great to link up with friends um, or those that you know, but I would only say if they really know how to ex um, execute, some people say they're going to do stuff. 
and they don't do it. If you know it's a person that doesn't follow through, you don't want them on your team, okay? Trust me. Because when you have to get down on deck like we do at 8 in the morning to set up for a picnic that starts at 1 o'clock or a cookout that starts at 1 o'clock, that is not easy when you have skated 4 or 5 hours the night before with 1 hour or 0 hours of sleep. I mean, just like this week. On Thursday, we get to the hotel on Thursday. We didn't sleep. We didn't sleep until, until, I'm, I'm confused now, what's it, uh, <laughs> Saturday? <laughs> right, right. Did we sleep? Right, no, right. Did it, we it, sleep? It might have been an hour. It's like, okay, well, we ain't sleeping, but we gonna go back and shower and change and get back downstairs. And that's the way it is, you know, you gotta have people that's committed. And like, um, Sean was saying, Boots was saying, you know, talk to the OGs, talk to those who have been there on that road, right? Those who have thrown parties and have, when I say a successful party, somebody didn't fold after the first year because yes. they couldn't play their DJs, right? That's not cool, right? Make sure you have your funds. Make sure you have an agreement. And, and put things in writing as a contract because that's really important. That way there's no confusion, right, about, oh, you said this, and no, this is what we said. This is what we agreed on, right? That way everybody leaves in good spirits once it's all over. So those are just some pointers I want to share. Okay. And I think the only uh, last question I believe I have for you guys today, so recently, just because you were, um, you kind of brought that thought to mind, you were talking about the DJs. So recently, you know, in the state world, we've been having, um, you know, more female DJs coming up, which has been a really great thing. Yes. Um, but, you know, just like anything in a world that is heavily... Um, dominated by yes, men. Yes, dominated by men, you know, it's another profession that has been difficult for us to kind of get the respect and get the payouts that we yes. deserve. Um, I want to know what has been your experience as women running a party over these years? Has it been difficult for you guys to get that support and things like that? Or um, I would say no, no. Uh, um, not for us. No. Um, That's good. Yeah, yeah, def definitely <laughs> no. You know, um, when it's business, we're about that business. Yeah, oh, I know. Right? We, we about the business. Don't let Boo move you over here because she's a character. Okay, she's a character. I am not. She's oh, keeping she's, it very professional. She's a character. Right, right, right. right, right. <laughs> oh, no, no. She, 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 she's the fun one, right? Definitely Extremely fun one. Fun one. Um, you hear her before you see even her. see me That's or right. see me, right. right, or hear me. But I'm, I'm more of a no-nonsense. They know, oh, they're, they're, they're going to uh, Miss Candace, you better straighten up. She'll yeah. fire you, right? <laughs> yeah, but anyway, um... Right. Can you believe I'm lost for words, y'all? <laughs> right? Like how? Come on, Right, how? right. That's Unless impossible. <laughs> I ain't had no sleep. Yeah, but but on the on the um, host aspect or side of things, I don't I don't find it difficult for women to play that role. Um, but I can see where it would be somewhat difficult in your profession, the actual DJ side of it. Um, and not that I'm a DJ, but the only thing I would do is just encourage you, encourage you to continue. You know. Um, even if you have to reach out to certain hosts or event coordinators, do that, do that. And eventually, you know, it's like a resume. When you're applying for a job, you got to sell yourself. So you got to keep putting it out there. Somebody's going to say yes, and you never know when your big break is going to be. So just, you know, stick with it. Yeah, and then the ones who may have told you no, you charge them double when they want to. <laughs> okay? Like, I'm when the you ball. blow up. Right. right. When you blow up. Right. I, I, you know, I've been doing pretty well in, in Tampa. We have um, our Level Up Tuesdays. I've been DJing that session with DJ Naya. Nice. Um, and I'm actually filling in tomorrow for my nice. DJ brother, Fanatic. He's going to be up here repping for Inferno. Okay. And I'll be down there covering for him. So, you know, it, it's a good deal either way. But listen, make sure, like I said, y'all come out to Inferno. This is a party you do not want to miss. I'm so thankful, blessed that you guys came into the skate room. Not only to talk and give people some knowledge, but also for me to be able to get you to get to know you guys a little yeah. bit more. And listen, y'all know you're going to see my face. Okay. Hey, okay. okay. It, it, it's red, a.k.a. DJ <laughs> Rojo. And you often go hear me before you see me too, but I feel like I'm just, I got a, like, a lot of energy. Right, yeah, right, 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 right. <laughs> oh, 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 hey, listen, this is, this was uh, the one third we were missing. Back here, he ain't Mr. got no, Sid. yes, he ain't got no, look, he turned around. He ain't got no headset on, but like I said, want to thank you guys for coming into the skate room today. Make thank sure you come out to it. Inferno each and every yes. year. Yes. No excuses. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, guys. There was a time when we were denied. 
there was a time when we weren't allowed in the ranks. There was a time when our creativity was stifled, our talent suppressed. There was a time when we couldn't express ourselves freely. To all those that fought to pave the way so we could jam, snap, spin, and ride, we salute you. Come celebrate as we honor our true skate legends at the Heels, Hats, and Wheels Gala, a weekend filled with exciting events, a full concert featuring Tony, 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 and afterwards, you can skate the night away at this anthem. This black tie affair is for the grown and sexy. Help us celebrate and honor our true legends. Get your tickets today. This opportunity to talk, you know what I mean? Have this interview. It's my first time, first one. Because you know, you know, Rojo be doing the thing. Yeah, my, my okay. sis be doing her thing now. <laughs> For real. They're making moves. But listen, yes, I had to welcome him into the skate room because, first of all, it's been a very long time since I've seen my boy right here. Um, and so I really am going to let him take the floor just a little bit. And come on, tell the people why you've been away. <laughs> so I'm going to tell y'all. So I've been away because um, about around 2020, I had pretty much, you know, um, put my life into the service. So right now I'm in the Navy. Right now, you y'all know. Y'all better thank him for his service. <laughs> thank the man for his service. You know, service. y'all say thank you. I would say definitely I support, you know, I definitely, you know, I mean, appreciate the support and everything that you're giving me, you know, from everybody as well too. But, you know, I just want to do something different in my life. Yeah. You know, um, I got tired of being kind of stagnant a little bit, you know. So let me go to the service and I'll see what I can do with myself. Yeah, I feel like that that's very um admirable, you know, because a lot of people are either fearful to do so or they kind of do they remain stuck in a place and it takes a lot for you to be honest with yourself and realize that you want better and you need a change for you you know i mean i was kind of sad that he left you guys but because you know i don't get to see him but i've been able to see him twice since he's been home that's like a world record so i was like listen y'all when the power goes out on your Thank you, y'all. Make sure y'all check us out. A word to be heard. 